Start the ST protocol by putting the glass slide into an incubator at 37 degrees for one minute. Place the glass slide in a horizontal position. Add 900 microliters of 4% formaldehyde, diluted in PBS. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. Wash away the formaldehyde by dipping the glass slide into a PBS solution several times. Carefully dry the edges and back of a glass slide and lie flat. Add 500 microliters of isopropanol and incubate for one minute at room temperature. Remove the excess isopropanol by tilting the glass slide. Let it air dry. When the tissue is dry, it will turn white. Add hematoxylin, covering all of the tissue sections. Incubate for seven minutes at room temperature. Wash away the hematoxylin by dipping into a series of beakers of clean water. Ensure that the water is DNAs and RNAs free. Add bluing buffer and incubate for two minutes at room temperature. Dip the glass slide into water to wash off the bluing buffer. Then dip the slide into pH 6 buffered eosin for 20 to 40 seconds. Wash off the excess eosin in a beaker of clean water. Carefully dry the edges in the back of a glass slide and allow to dry at room temperature. Check that no water remains on the tissue before heating, then incubate at 37 degrees for five minutes. Prepare the slide for imaging by adding 280 microliters of 85% glycerol as a mounting medium. Carefully add a cover slip. Now image your samples using Brightfield microscopy. After imaging, remove the cover slip by dipping the slide into water. Dip swiftly into 80% ethanol to get rid of the excess glycerol. A 
allow to air dry. When dry, place the glass slide into a pre-warmed microarray cassette and close it firmly. Add a pre-warmed collagenase mix. Seal the cassette and check that the tissue is completely covered. Incubate at 37 degrees for 20 minutes. Carefully remove the collagenase from all wells. Wash by pipetting wash buffer onto and off the well. When all wells are empty, add pepsin and incubate at 37 degrees. Remove the seal and remove the pepsin very slowly. Wash the wells carefully. Add the pre-warmed cDNA synthesis mix. Seal the cassette and incubate overnight at 42 degrees. Start day two by carefully removing the seal. Pipette off the cDNA synthesis mix and wash the wells as before. Add pre-warmed proteinase K to digest the tissue. Seal the plate and incubate at 56 degrees with interval shake.
after the Proteinase K treatment, remove the seal and remove the mixture. Disassemble the microarray cassette and place the glass slide in pre-warmed wash buffer number one. Incubate at 50 degrees for 10 minutes in a shaking incubator. Carefully transfer the glass slide to wash buffer number two. Shake for one minute. Finally, transfer to wash buffer number three. Spin dry the slide. If this is a QC slide, it is now ready for scanning. If this is an ST slide, place into a clean and dry microarray cassette. Add pre-warmed probe release mix. Incubate for two hours at 37 degrees with interval shaking. Remove the seal. Take up 65 microliters and transfer either to a plate or to 0.2 milliliter tubes. Seal the samples. Samples can be frozen at minus 20 for later processing or taken directly onto library preparation.